So I darkened my hair and I'm really not sure how I feel about the bangs with the darker hair. I am sure how I feel about Perrier though. It's a very good feeling I have. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the new Too Faced Born This Way Radiant Concealers. I was super excited when I heard about this launch. Um, these have a lot of unique claims, they've got some really cool ingredients, and when I was reading about them I thought they would be a really great match for my skin, so I was really excited to put them to the test. I have been wearing these for the past, I'd say, four or five days now, so I feel like I can give you a really good, like, in-depth review. I have been wearing them hard. I've been testing them out with, like, no powder, no color correcting. I've been keeping a very watchful eye on how they perform, and so I'm ready to give you guys my overall kind of thoughts. Okay, so straight out of the gate, I do want to say that Too Faced did send me a PR package with these uh, concealers for review purposes. I've said it before, but I feel like I just always need to throw it out there again. Um, I've never done a sponsored video and I'm not going to do a sponsored video. I don't mind other people doing them. They're just not for me personally, but if a company wants to send me products to try and then just report back to you guys with my honest opinion, no strings attached, absolutely I will do that. That's just how my channel works. Okay, so the packaging of these concealers is great. I love this style, just like a doe foot applicator. Very easy just to kind of swipe it on and then blend it out. I've been blending these out with either a dampened sponge or a brush as normal. These concealers do come in a variety of 10 different shades and I think they did a nice job of creating a pretty broad spectrum of colors for a variety of skin tones. You've got everything from very fair to deep. Today I am wearing very fair under my eyes and that's because I just generally like my concealer to be a shade even maybe two shades lighter than my foundation because I really like this area to be brightened and just, you know, lighter so that it gives the illusion that this area of my face is just more awake. Okay, so let's talk about the ingredients in here because I think there are some really unique ingredients that I appreciate in a concealer. So first of all, this is infused with coconut water, which is going to help to hydrate your under eye area. If you're like me, if you've got darker circles and drier skin and or both, this area of my face can become quite sensitive. I do tend to use color correctors and then layer concealer on top, usually a heavier concealer because I want to mask the dark circles. And you know, by the end of the day, when I wipe off my concealer, it really, it, it, it's hard on my skin, it really is. So any sort of product that I'm applying under my eyes that's going to have that little extra bit of nourishment and put a little bit of moisture back into my skin, I totally appreciate. And I will say that I kept a very close eye on this area of my face, particularly for the past couple days when I was testing this out, and I did notice that my skin wasn't irritated in the least. I mean, I really felt like this concealer was very gentle, and it did seem to be a bit nourishing. So. Um, I think there definitely is something to that claim. Okay, next, this is also infused with Alpine Rose, which is supposed to act as a brightening agent, and that, I would say, is definitely what I noticed the most about this concealer. It really does give you just that natural kind of lit from within brightening effect that I love. I love the YSL Touche Clot um, Brightening Concealer. I forget what it's called. I'll put the name below. I do use that quite a bit and I feel like this gave me a similar result with just slightly more coverage. So um, I, I definitely feel like this is a brightening concealer. It's going to just make you look more awake, more youthful, more radiant. It does have just a slightly dewy finish. I didn't set it with any sort of powder today. I just wanted you guys to see like the raw concealer on my face. I also didn't use any color correcting, so this is just straight up concealer. I do have some foundation on, but um, other than that, this is all I use. Okay, and finally, this is also infused with hyaluronic acid, which I am a huge fan of. I use a hyaluronic acid from Paula's Choice about three times a week. I just mix it in with my moisturizer, and I have noticed over time that it has really made a difference in my skin. I feel like Hyaluronic acid has just made my skin smoother and firmer over time. It really has. It really does make a difference. I totally suggest getting your hands on one. If you've got dry skin like me, don't be nervous about it. Just mix it with a really solid moisturizer and I really think you're going to see some great results. As for this, I can't say that I've noticed like, you know, renowned improvement under my eyes in terms of fine lines. I've been wearing it for five days. I have definitely noticed a difference in like just the 
moisture levels under my eyes, but I mean, maybe over time it would help to improve fine lines, wrinkles, that sort of thing. But I do think it is an excellent ingredient to incorporate into a concealer because over time, I mean, you know, when you're wearing makeup every day, it is hard on your skin. So any sort of beneficial skincare products that are going to be infused in a concealer, I am all about that. As for coverage, I would say light to medium, just a quick application and a blend, I would say light. Definitely add a little bit more and you're gonna get more of a medium coverage. Um, like I said, I haven't used any color corrector today and I feel like it's still did a nice job of covering up my dark circles, just making me look a little bit more awake. Of course, like I mentioned, it's got the brightening agent, the Alpine Rose, which really is what stands out to me. I do feel like this just gives you that slightly bit of radiance, like they say, it's a naturally radiant concealer, but also I really just like how natural it is. It doesn't look like I am wearing a ton of highlight. I do have highlight on my cheek, but anything like overly obvious under my eyes. It just applies very seamlessly. It's smooth. It's creamy. I could be crazy, but when I put this on, it almost feels slightly cooling. I don't know why. I don't think it's supposed to, but to me, it just feels like it's slightly cooling. I don't know. Anyway, but it just, it really does blend seamlessly. As far as creasing goes, I have fine lines under my eyes. Concealer, foundation of any kind always settles there and I really wanted to test this out so I wanted to see how badly it would crease and I didn't set it with a powder. What I noticed was that there was just a little tiny bit in like the deeper fine line that's closest to my lid there. I always get a little bit of creasing there. Other than that though, I had no, no issues and like I said, I always get that sort of creasing so for me, it's just a thing. Um, other than that, I didn't notice any other creasing or separation or drying. This wore for me all day. I watched it very closely and at the end of the day, I'd say about eight, eight and a half hours, um, I was able to take a makeup wipe and, you know, remove the product and see that it had visibly held up on my eyes. Overall, you guys, I have completely fallen in love with this concealer. It is long wearing, it's natural, it's radiant, it's moisturizing, it's got some great skincare benefits in it. Um, if I wanted it to be a little more full coverage, I definitely would use a color corrector first, but like I said, I've got darker circles, so um, that's just something I normally do. I'll use a salmon color corrector, and then I will apply my concealer on top of it, um, but when I do that with this, it's absolutely perfect. It looks very natural. This is getting to a big thumbs up for me. I absolutely love it. I would highly recommend checking it out. I think they do have a nice variety of colors for a variety of skin tones. It's going to give you some light to medium coverage, definitely give you that brightening effect. It's going to put some moisture back into your skin and honestly, I feel like this is kind of the ultimate for me personally. Um, I'm definitely going to keep reaching for it. It has kind of knocked my other concealers out of the park, which I can't believe I'm saying because if you've been following me for a while, you know that I love, love, love the Urban Decay Naked Skin, but I feel like this is just a little more gentle. It gives me very similar results, but it's just a little more nourishing and definitely a little bit more brightening. So I really hope you guys found this helpful. I'd love to know your thoughts on this concealer. If you have a question or comment, please leave it for me below in the comment section. I am gonna try something a little bit different this week. I'm going to attempt to upload five days this week, Monday through Friday. I've never done that before, but I really want to get on this schedule, so I'm going to give it a go. Um, if it works, I'm going to try to keep up with that. There is going to be a week in the summer where we're on vacation, and I don't think five days that week is going to be possible. I'll try to have some things pre-recorded, but this week you can expect five videos, and then we'll see how it goes, but I'm hoping, hoping I can do it dropping everything. I hope you guys found this helpful. I think I already said that. All right. Perrier. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch you guys. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Take care of each other and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.